Good evening, I'm Hugh Charles, and this is a WDIV editorial. A memorial service for Corporal Pat Tillman was held today in his hometown of San Jose, California. The United States Army Ranger was killed last week when his unit was ambushed near the Pakistan border in Afghanistan. In a touching ceremony, friends, family, and other well-wishers eulogized Tillman. Celebrities he had never met spoke as if they had known him intimately. But on this day, irony rang above even the sincerest of tributes. For Pat Tillman was not about recognition and fanfare. In the summer of 2002, headlines told the story of an NFL star who was so deeply moved by the 9-11 attack that he turned his back on a million dollar career to join his brother in the armed services. But being of cynical nature, or perhaps looking to justify our own cowardice, many of us labeled this as just another publicity stunt by a professional athlete. But Tillman shunned the media, refused interviews, and barely even explained his decision. That was Pat Tillman. He didn't feel he needed to explain. Perhaps we are the ones that should explain. Explain why we choose to hide within our personal comforts and let others risk their lives for our freedom. So once the skepticism subsided, we said, how about that? Now with the sobering news of Pat Tillman's death, how about that falls embarrassingly short. So what do we say when someone has given their lives for our comfort? Thank you just doesn't seem to fit or be nearly enough. And being just one of over 100 soldiers killed in Afghanistan, Tillman would most likely direct thanks to those who have fallen before him. Should we elevate him to hero status? Clearly Pat Tillman was not about glory. That was already in his grasp. Sadly, time will fade his memory and his sacrifice. But I believe at very least his story should be immortalized so that future generations of youth might get a glimpse of the bigger picture. Then one might imagine a smiling Pat Tillman saying, how about that? I'm Q. Charles. This has been a WDIV editorial. Good evening. Hi, my name is Charles Quatrine, or in its simplistic form, Q. Charles. I am a native Detroiter who has browsed the suburbs for the last three decades and currently reside in Warren, Michigan. At this time, I'd like to offer WDIB my ability to communicate with all walks of life, as well as a working knowledge of the Metro Detroit community. I'm quick to lend an understanding ear and not afraid to show compassion. Also, as an admitted sportsaholic, I can easily segue from hard-hitting news to Detroit sports scene. I'm eager to display an easygoing humor and a razor-sharp wit, and I would embrace human interest and feel good stories with a personal twist. As a WDIV reporter, you can expect a friendly, upbeat team player who puts a premium on being reliable and prompt, courteous and considerate, and I would be grateful for this opportunity as I am intimately aware of how difficult it is to land a position such as this in a major market, even with my extensive training. Therefore, if accepted, I would be relentless in my pursuit to become an asset to the WDIB family. Thank you.